Welcome to another Remix Single. We're going to talk about clearing out form fields after submissions. So in this little app we've been goofing around with, if I put Michelle Jones in here and then I hit enter, notice that my form fields are still filled out with that stuff and the focus is on the wrong input. Um, I want to move it back to the first one. So I want to clear it out and move it over. Um, browsers by default will just do this if uh, we didn't have any JavaScript on the page. So we kind of caused this problem by having JavaScript. So how do we fix it? It's actually pretty quick. What we're going to need is a ref. So I'm going to have um, I'm going to have a form ref here, and we're going to reset the form. This is another kind of old school thing. Um, if you're just controlling all the state like you might be used to in, Re in uh, React, you would just set state, and then React would clear out these fields. Um, you don't always have to control your form fields uh, just to clear them out. That'd be a lot of state. So we can just put a ref and an effect in here to do this. So I'm going to bring in use ref from React. And then I'm going to put the form ref down here on our form. And then we need an effect here. So I'm going to bring in use effect. So use effect will run whenever We've got this state here, is adding. So that's that state that, uh, if you watched the uh, last video, this button says adding while we're adding things here. So uh, that's, our, that's our state that we care about. So you just got to figure out what's, what's the state that you care about when this form is submitted. So when is adding changes, if it's no longer is adding, that means that the submission is done and we're back to an idle state, right? Is adding says uh, the transition state is submitting and we're submitting the create action. So whenever that changes, if we're not adding anymore, that means that we just finished that submission. So we can just say form ref dot reset, or sorry, dot current dot reset. Let's give that a shot over here. Let's add a Steven Strange, hit enter. Boom, pulled it out. So now we need to move our focus over to this form field because uh, this, I mean, this isn't a real app, but uh, if it were, there, there are often apps like this where you just keep on appending to a list as you're adding things. Um, I'd probably want to move the focus back to the first field so that the user can just start typing again. So we're going to need another ref. Uh, I'll call it first name ref. And put that on our input for the person's first name. Uh, whoops, <laughs> that's an old school string ref. Um, so now we got our first name ref there. And we can add this one to the effect as well. So reset the form and then first name ref dot focus. What else we got in the movie I just watched? Uh, we got Peter Parker, of course. Hit enter. Form is cleared, focus is moved to the first element. Pretty nice. And, and not too difficult either. Um, just a couple of refs, an effect. And you gotta figure out, you gotta derive some kind of state here to be like, okay, when is this, when is this form done? Uh, which I can see can be a little bit like, oh man, it was easier when I just said set state before after the submission. Um, but you usually want these kinds of things and effects uh, because of all the cancellation that we can do. Um, uh, inside of Remix just for you, and then we tell you what the state is. So you don't ever have to await anything. Um, I think that's it for this one. Oh, I wanted to say one more thing about this. Uh, we're going to do this a little bit differently later uh, after we add optimistic UI. When you have optimistic UI, uh, instead of waiting for any of this stuff, you can actually just clear the form immediately, and we'll, we'll get to that in another video.